Y'all, Jayla here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And as you boys and girls can see in today's video, I'm bringing y'all another cooking video. Now, this video ain't like my ordinary cooking videos. If you watched my recent and the last video I posted on this channel, I told you guys that I've been eating healthier and I've changed my diet completely. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys just one of the meals that I eat while changing my diet to a cleaner diet. Also, I'm going to show y'all my smoothies that I make. It's not too special with it, but I'm just show y'all like what I do when I get home and get ready to prepare myself something to eat. So on the menu today, we got a steak for our protein. We have asparagus for the vegetables. And then I'm probably gonna add one little egg to the side. Now I could add rice, but I ate rice yesterday. So I really don't wanna like eat rice again today. I try to watch how much I intake into my body and I try to like limit it or you or do small portions and yesterday I ate a good amount of rice so I don't want to eat rice again today so uh we finna go ahead and get this prepared man but first before we do that I'm gonna drop this steak in the water I wish I really did that sooner or I would have left it in the water uh when I left the crib and I would have got back home it would have been ready but it is what it is we finna um drop one arm in this water real fast in the sink Wait for it to thaw a little bit, and then we'll get to cooking. All right, y'all, so we washed our hands, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drop uh, one of these steaks into the water so I can just unthaw it a, a lot. Hopefully it don't really take long, but if it does, it is what it is, man. We're gonna just try to cook. I wanna, I don't, I, I wanna cook everything at the same time, but we're gonna wash these asparagus, season them to my liking, and we just gonna wait on the steak. All right, you guys, so we cut up our asparagus, as y'all can see. Um, I cut it into like threes or whatever. Uh, when you cut asparagus, you wanna cut the ends of it, the brown ends, so I made sure I cut off those brown ends and I kept what looked good, green, you know. You wanna keep the green, the, the part that's the greenest of the green. So right now I'm gonna rinse these off and then we're gonna season them. So let's go. With the seasoning, I don't go too crazy. I do salt and pepper, uh, probably some little thyme, uh, and some garlic. I just throw that in the pan as it's cooking. And then you wanna first off top it with olive oil. That's what I learned. All right, so these are mainly the seasons I'm using when I'm cooking. And then I also use butter. So first off, you wanna top it with some olive oil. Let me bring y'all up just a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, you want to top it with some olive oil. That just literally just seals in all the flavor and all that. So all this is going to go, olive oil is going to go over it. Just like that. Just cover it and then that's it. Next, I'm going to put my seasoning. So as y'all see, I use black pepper the the McCormick black pepper come on man a little salt I do not go crazy with the salt you gotta see Morton salt do not go crazy with this let me see, because you can't really see salt when they're coming down. <laughs> it's a good amount of asparagus. I usually don't cook this much. I don't usually cook this much at once. I usually just cook however much I want to eat with my meal. But I'm going to go ahead and cook all of it because I'm probably going to be meal prepping. 
So in reality, I need to cook both of those steaks. Yeah. So uh, thyme, thyme, Morton salt, olive oil, and black pepper. That's it, literally. So with that, you're gonna just rub it all in. Rub it all in. That's all you're gonna do. Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. Literally, that's all you do. That's a thick, good piece of steak. Um, I usually go for a top sirloin steak because it's usually like higher in protein and all that. But this time I got a uh, beef steak, which is cool. It's cool too. But when you eat your steak, go for top sirloin. The store I went to didn't have no sirloin steak, and I didn't feel like going back to Walmart, so I just got this steak here. But definitely aim for that top sirloin just a better steak okay so uh, how I key want to wait for the other one to be on thaw before I just start with this one but I guess I can just go ahead and start with this one and then jump into cooking it because I don't have to show y'all the other one because I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one okay so let me go get some napkins first to pat off my steak Let's do pepper. Mm -hmm. Let's do salt. Like I said, don't go too crazy. Oh, and then time. Now this right here got a lot of flavor, man. You 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 wouldn't think these little bitty flakes will have so much flavor. You see it? It got flavor, man. So yeah. Same thing to the other side, literally. Black pepper. The most simplest seasoning ever, and it still be good. Salt. And time. All right. And that's it. Just, you know, smear it all in. You want to massage it into the steak. Put a little olive oil on it. I usually don't do this, but I just put a little bit. You, you, you definitely want to do this, though. Don't forget that step. <laughs> it's just, I be putting butter in the pan, so, but yeah, do this. Just put it on there, a little bit on the steak. On both sides. Like that, we got seasoned steak, y'all. It's not too much on there. I promise you, it probably don't look like it's none on there. Uh, and I promise you, it's still gonna taste good. It's still gonna taste good, y'all. I promise you, I, I swear it will. All right, y'all. So, with my smoothie, this is gonna be a first thing I do here. Oh, uh, this is a first time thing. My cranberry juice, I usually just drink it straight, but I want to throw it in the smoothie today just to see how it tastes. If I don't. If, I, if it tastes funny, it is what it is. I'm still going, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to uh, drink it. So I just pour, I want to pour a little bit. Now this cranberry juice, not no ordinary cranberry juice, y'all. This is not the cranberry juice that y'all drink. This still kind of tastes like juice. This is organic cranberry juice, so it's very strong. Like very bitter and strong. It has literally no sweet taste to it. It's that cranberry juice that's going to hit the hit them jaws and make it like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you bite into a lemon type of thing. So, next here we're gonna throw some strawberries in here. Pineapples. I usually cut them up. I don't wanna cut them up right now, so I'm just gonna throw them in. 
and then Finish that off with some strawberries. I'm not strawberries, watermelon. I love watermelon. I will throw a kiwi in here, but I didn't like it the last time, so I'm not gonna do that. Finish that off with that. Good, y'all. But the cranberry juice is actually good. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna put the refrigerator. Cook. I drink this while I'm eating. I'm gonna go and drop these asparagus in this pot. I knew I was gonna drop that. Yes, sir. to have the butter you guys hopefully y'all can see me good I can't really see myself so hopefully y'all can see me good Looking good. Oh yeah, boy. Am I looking good though? And you got the berry. Process is a beef steak. Gotta be a walk. 
I don't think I'll get this again. I, mean, I know it's gonna be good though, but a certain way I like my steak. Alright. Alright, so this is how the first ones look. As y'all can see. This other steak is thicker though. Like when I say thicker, it's thicker. Like, oh, never again, y'all. Never again for sure. I don't, I don't like it too thick. Now we cook this egg. And to be honest, I'm not adding the egg to every plate. Um, I'm not, I'm not prepping an egg, you know, not meal prepping an egg, so, yeah, I'll just eat eggs today, and, yeah, I'm not meal prepping an egg, that's, that's wow, don't meal prep no egg. <laughs> Alright, so, all I, all I do to my egg is salt and pepper, y'all, salt and pepper, Pepper, salt, I don't scramble it, so yeah, keep that in mind. A little time, just a little time, literally, just a little, literally. I don't, I, I, I pour it in a pan and then I just let it, um, I just let it sit. I don't, I don't stir it up basically. I flip it. So I need a spatula. Let it get good on the bottom, flip it, boom, eat it. cook it crazy. I don't want to take, you know what I'm saying? I still should leave a little yolk in there. Alright. So, let's do some cleaning. And I'll be right back with y'all. Alright y'all, so we finally done with the cooking. Uh, I got everything set up into the plate right now. Um, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to eat with the steak and asparagus. I could really just eat it just like that. But with some of these bowls, I might throw rice in because I'm not going to eat rice every day. So I might take one of those cups and split it in half because I don't want large portions of rice every day. So as y'all can see, we got the bowl that I'm going to eat right now. I just put an egg in that one. I'm not going to meal prep no egg. So yeah, got an egg, half of the steak, asparagus. I don't want to eat that whole steak. Eating that whole steak is crazy. So I just took two of them and cut them in half because they are big. They are big. And this is a good amount for the calorie deficit that I'm in and the uh, portions that I should be eating. So, like I said, egg, steak, asparagus. Asparagus is same thing. Not eggs. Asparagus is steak. So, that's literally all that it is to meal prepping. Literally, guys. Like, meal prepping is very um, simple. Literally. Eating healthy is very simple. It's just, you can't. And take all that crazy stuff that you use usually an intake. You feel me? Uh, you got to watch a lot of stuff from sauces to seasonings, all of that. So um, that's literally it, y'all. That's literally it, man. Put these tops on this stuff. Put it in the fridge. And yeah, this going to be what I'm eating until I don't have it no more. 
until for the rest of this week because the week i'm over with and uh whatever i have for the weekend i'll eat that on the weekend so the next video i'm gonna cook again and uh i'm gonna show y'all something different I'm not gonna add rice to this. I'm just keeping a buck to y'all. I said I probably will, but I'm not. I'm not gonna add no rice to it. So I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge. And those are gonna be my meals for the rest of the week. And then I got my smoothie. Oh man. It might taste good. Perfect. I'm gonna get y'all a taste test though. I know it's probably dark, I'm sorry. Nice egg. Egg tastes good. It's not hard to cook an egg, you feel me? So, let me bite this and see. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The steak is good, but it's tough. I will not buy another beef steak. I see why they said go top so on for a good high quality steak. So I should just went top sirloin instead of being lazy. If I ever was to buy another beef steak, at least this. I'll do chunks. I won't even cut it in half. Asparagus is just a hit. Not much more to say about asparagus. It's not hard to cook asparagus. So, yeah. Everything is seasoned good. Doesn't take a lot of seasoning. But that steak is very, um, like, tough, man. I really don't like, I really hate that, but I'm gonna eat it. Hey, man. Should have just went top sirloin. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about beef steaks. I'm not a fan of that. At least that steak. I think I ate beef steaks before. I'm not a fan of that steak at all. Not by a long shot. So, I'm going to eat it though. Got to eat. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, man, drop a thumbs up on the video. Spam that like button. Subscribe to the channel if y'all new. If y'all want to see more videos like this, let me know. Um, I'm trying to have everything a little bit more prepared and ready to go i shouldn't have to unthaw no steak but it is what it is i just got home i didn't want to have my steak sitting in the sink all day so yeah um if y'all want to see another one drop a like spam this like button on this video and i'll bring y'all another video of me meal prepping and you know cooking um my calorie deficit and healthier meals for y'all so if you got any comments any questions in the comments drop them below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Until then, you guys, see y'all in the next one. Peace out.